we got some haymakers today. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. OB1 plays. everybody how are y'all doing we got some epic 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 news for you guys today but first first before we get started give the video a big gigantic gargantuan thumbs up like let's destroy this video with the likes give it at least 200 likes 200 likes let's do it all right bro this is footage from sony's ps5 event back in june of 2020 which was epic but if you go back some of those games like returnal was in there the harry potter game a lot of dope games that were that have come out and are still yet to come out but that's not what this video is about sony's next event has been leaked on the internet reliable sources a specific date june 28th and check out the details and i'm gonna tell you why this is dope according to an email sent to one of the event attendees sony is planning a new big event big event for the end of june dedicated to titles coming out soon and beyond on playstation 4 and eh, i don't care PlayStation 5 and PlayStation VR for the June for June 28, 2021. I'm hyped for PlayStation VR. I've never been this hyped for VR before, bro. But when you see the cot the not the concept where the controllers look like Sony showed all of that already. It's gonna be lit. PlayStation VR 2. And among the attendees, there will all there will also be check out who will be showing games, bro. Gorilla games. Are we gonna get Killzone revived? Are we gonna get back Killzone? Bro, I had Killzone. Was it Killzone Shadowfall that launched on the PS4? How did that launch? I beat it, bro. Killzone, I mean, Guerrilla Games, Santa Monica Studios, Capcom, Square Enix, Ubisoft, EA, and others. Some of the focuses of the event will be the launch date of Horizon Forbidden West, scheduled to be November 30th. We got a leak date for Horizon, November 30th, Horizon Forbidden West, the new remake project by Square Enix and Blue Point Studios, Blue Point Games, and a first look at the new PSVR 2. Oh, this event sounds so hype. Couple of things. Sony is waiting until after the E3 smoke settles down. Go ahead, Nintendo. Go, go ahead. Show your, your little games. Go ahead, Xbox. Show your Bethesda games. I, I have to say this. I've never been a fan of Bethesda games, so my expectations aren't that high for uh, Xbox, which is a good thing for Xbox. So Xbox, wow me, amaze me, because my expectations are low. But this event sounds like it's going to be amazing bro first again at the end of june so sony is gonna have the spotlight all to them so i remember that blind monk in demon souls wrecked them on the first try i think because i had powerful spells but um june 28th that's my birthday too hey we gotta have a birthday stream for this playstation event playstation is bro i swear PlayStation is like doing everything I want right now. They're doing it on my birthday, bro. Boom. And so June 28th will be the event. Bro, so much to unpack. We have a couple other dope news items, but this one first. Um, who will be attending? Guerrilla Games. Now, Guerrilla Games, of course, is for Horizon Forbidden West. We know that. But they also make Killzone. 
And so the kill zone really just stopped dead in this track because of Horizon, which I ain't complaining. Cause I like Horizon even better. But so we should have Horizon Santa Monica Studios. Dope, dope, phenomenal studios. God of War developers. God of War Ragnarok. We might actually get first footage, first gameplay for this game, which would be dope. And Capcom. Bro. And now Street Fighter 6 Capcom. Do it. Square Enix. Square Enix and Blue Point. The big rumor is they're making a Souls-like game in the world of the original Final Fantasy. Oh my goodness, bro. Do you know what that game means to me? That's my favorite game of all time. The original Final Fantasy with this type of graphical fidelity. It's going to be amazing, bro. I'm telling you. Sony's like, let's rip open Obi-Wan's brain, see what he likes, and give it to him. But I've always said, I don't ever think we're gonna get a Final Fantasy, the original game remake in our lifetime. I always wanted that game reimagined for next gen consoles and they're doing it, bro. Bro, this boss battle. I beat this on the first try too, bro, no cap. Um, but it was dope, it was dope, uh, that spider boss battle. Um, gonna be there and Ubisoft and EA, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see what they announce too. But event, June 28, mark your calendar. I will be live streaming it. It's going to be lit, lit, lit. But, bro, we got even more epic news. It's being reported that PlayStation, Sony, has officially acquired Housemark following the success of Returnal. Returnal is my current game of the year. I'm trying to platinum the game. I have two of the biomes at 100%. The other four biomes over 90%. We're going to try to platinum this game. I'm going to be on this game um, after this video on my gaming channel. I still got to set up and stuff. On my gaming channel, Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championship. We're going to be playing some Returnal. Um, my game of the year so far. Dope game. And it looks like Sony has bought them as a first party studios which is epic man that means we could get a returnal two three this is sony's metroid and they've done metroid better than metroid this is the best metroid game i've played bro the best the game is so good the gameplay the environment everything about this game is phenomenal and so house mark returnal first party studio by sony dope 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 and last but not least bro june is turning out to be pretty pretty dope there's a rumor now for the specific date reveal of the switch pro now it's already been reported that nintendo plans are revealing their next the next um, iteration of the switch before e3 e3 begins june 11th or 13th so they really only have one or two weeks to do it now it's being reported that it's going to be shown on thursday june 3rd in two days here's the details um this is coming from techradar.com according to a report from bloomberg the success of the popular nintendo switch has been tipped to reveal before e3 which takes place on june 12th to 15th and could be released as early as September. We already know that, but here it is. However, we now have a slightly more concrete date. If the host of the Xbox Era podcast is to be believed, Nick Baker claims that the Nintendo Switch Pro could be announced on Thursday. Thursday. But caveated his prediction by saying that the date could be pushed back as it has been in the past. So target date Thursday, which makes sense. It's usually Nintendo releases stuff either on, either on Tuesdays or Thursdays. Thursday would be a good date to reveal the Switch Pro. Can't wait to see what it is. I'll probably pick it up if, if, if there's a compelling reason to get it. Of course, it's not gonna be on the level of the PS5 or Xbox Series X. My expectations are in check. It's a handheld, Nintendo's price conscious. 
Let's see what they do, man. Let's see what they do. Hey, Nintendo, wow me. Wow me. I want to be amazed. Show some compelling, dope games to go along with it, and you'll have me sold. All right, dudes. Those are the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out.